Hi angels! Oh, let's try that again. Hi angels, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Kelsey and if you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back even though I've literally been gone for like ages. Basically moved to London and then disappeared. So apologies about that. But basically life has just been so busy. Like I am loving the London life. Everything is so great, but yeah, it's just so Sober? What the hell? I can't even speak. It's just been super, super busy and I haven't really had time to pick up the camera and film and I've just kind of been enjoying life in London. But I thought I would do a video today because as you can tell by the title, I'm actually 10 years post-op. Kind of doing this a little bit late because I was 10 years post-op last month. It's now September. But better late than never, right? Okay, I thought I would sit down because I think this is going to be like a little bit of a... Okay. This video is not going well for me so far. But yeah, I thought I would sit down because I think this is gonna be a little bit of a long video. So go ahead and grab yourself a cup of tea, get cozy on the sofa or in bed or wherever you're watching this. And let's get started. I did actually do a little post on my Instagram. If you're not following me, it's Kelsey Louise Fit. But I thought I would do a little video about it as well because obviously my whole journey with scoliosis, I used to vlog the whole thing. The videos are still on my channel, so go ahead and watch them, but they are really, really embarrassing. So <laughs> Um, I was like 12 at the time, but yeah, they are still on my channel. So if you want to go and watch my like raw scoliosis journey, I hate the word journey, go ahead and watch those. My whole, like, the whole thing started on YouTube. I thought I would do a little video just to celebrate 10 years. But the last 10 years have been a ride and a half. Like it's not been plain sailing. And as much as I would love to come on this video and tell you how amazing my life has been and how great the surgery was and all of those things, unfortunately I'm not able to do that. And this is actually a major part in why I stopped vlogging my scoliosis journey it was because I know so many of you were so worried and nervous about having the surgery and for me to come on here and tell you that things weren't so great for me just didn't sit right. I really just didn't want to put any of you guys off from having it because the surgery did essentially save my life and I will be forever grateful that I had it and if I could go back and do it all again I would still have the surgery even knowing what I know now. But if any of you watched the video I uploaded probably ages ago it's, oh my god it must have been two years ago i think it was like my eight years post-op um if any of you watch that then you'll know that i actually suffer from a condition called chronic pain which sucks but you know what it's life and it's something that i just have to deal with and i know that so many of you and probably a lot of you watching this video already suffer from it as well but for those of you who don't know what chronic pain is it's basically a pain that occurs for longer than the normal healing time so some people say it's you know pain that lasts longer than three months or 12 weeks or something like that and i'll also put some links down below so that you guys can go and do some research of your own if you want to but yeah so I've been living with this condition for about 10 years I got diagnosed a while ago I can't remember the exact date it takes a long time to get diagnosed with these things because it is invisible and your scans always tend to come back clear so for the doctors and things they can't see why you're in pain there's no actual reason why your body is in pain which is why it takes such a long time to diagnose because it genuinely is invisible it is an invisible illness so it can take years to get diagnosed with these things when i was diagnosed i did a intensive physio course in hospital in oxford for a couple of weeks which really really helped me i did lots of physio sessions i did hydrotherapy which is like physio in water and it also had a little bit of counseling as well and i think if that is something that is offered to you to help with the chronic pain or any kind of pain that you're dealing with I would definitely recommend doing that because it really really helped me and it was really beneficial and it's something that I've actually taken and used throughout my life since I've had it so I think I had that in 2015 so it's been a while so yeah that really really helped me but unfortunately a couple months ago I ended up catching Covid and I'm going to be completely honest the pain since having Covid has been 10 times worse like when I have, you know, for me personally, I have flare ups um, where the pain gets really, really bad, but normally they only last for like a couple of weeks. And this has lasted about two months now. And the pain has been like almost unbearable. Um, I've completely had to stop doing everything that I used to do. I can't go to the gym. I find it difficult to walk to the shops. I can't go shopping because too much standing up causes me pain. I literally at the moment cannot live my life the way that I was living it and it's really hard. So I finally called the doctors 
and explain to them what I was dealing with and how hard it's been. I had an appointment with a physiotherapist over the phone. He basically asked me lots of questions about the pain and things like that. And then he scheduled in a face-to-face -face appointment with him and then also scheduled in a blood test for me as well. I had all of those appointments and everything came back clear, which was really great. I went to go and see the physiotherapist and he did like, I think it was like reflexes or something. Like he like touched my back and like got me to like bend and I don't know why I like acted that out. But he like got me to do all of these things and all of those things were clear. So he couldn't see any reason why I would be in pain. He does think it probably has got something to do with COVID as it is such a nasty virus, but he has referred me back to orthopedics. I'm waiting to hear back from the orthopedics now. So at the moment, it's just gonna be a bit of self-help trial and error to see how I can get myself back to my normal life. But I thought I might go back to my old school YouTube days and kind of like vlog everything as I go along because it's actually quite a big thing having chronic pain and it does affect your day-to-day -day life probably a lot more than I think it does as well. I'm really hoping that my videos can help others that are dealing with this as well. So if you want to stick around and see where I go from here, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I also have a Instagram, which is mainly around my fitness because exercise is such a main factor in dealing with chronic pain and managing it so if you want to catch up with my daily life you can follow me on that it's kelsey louise fit and i'll pop a little link in the description box as well i really really appreciate all of the support you guys have given me so far already on my instagram like it's actually been amazing that all of you have been there for me and let me ramble on about it in my captions because it is like an outlet for me and it's really great to talk about it and I just want to say to anyone that is dealing with chronic pain or, you know, knows a loved one with chronic pain, please talk about it. I know what it's like when you feel like you're talking about it all the time and you feel like a burden to others, but I promise you, you're not a burden. But yeah, if you do have chronic pain, please don't feel like you have to go through it alone. I am here for you as well, as much as your friends and your family. It's really important to talk about it and how you feel because it's hard enough to deal with it, let alone having to deal with it by yourself and feeling like you have to hold all of your emotions in. But if you feel comfortable and you want to come and talk to me, please drop me a message on Instagram. I would love that. I absolutely love it when people message me on Instagram and say they used to watch my scoliosis videos. It genuinely means the absolute world to me to meet you guys and get talking to you. And I also think it would be so nice. I mean, even just for myself, it would be really nice to meet some people who are going through chronic pain as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you watched it until the end, you're a star and thank you so much for all of the support i really appreciate it i hope to see you in the next video Bye.